using the strategy map module. At the top is the current strategic plan name and to the right is the general message area. This screen uses the ribbon tab system and there are nine tabs defined. To the right are the usual save data, text zoom and pop up help buttons. The first five tabs are used for strategy map editing. The top of the map is the header area which contains the plan name as well as the visionary statements. Below the header is the actual strategy map itself which is a row aligned flowchart. The row headers are normally called perspectives and the row contents are the objectives. However these terms can be renamed in the option module as required. The strategy map also has columns. The first column has the row height markers which allows you to change the row height using a mouse drag. The second column contains the perspective names. The remaining area is dedicated to the flowchart. Edit mode tab pages. The first tab is for the visionary statements and the aim here is to provide a complete strategic picture to show that the objectives are aligned with the statements. In this tab you can control which statements are visible by clicking on the toggle buttons. You can also edit the statements, labels and document links by clicking on the show edit box button. The next tab is the perspectives tab. This controls the row label as well as the number and location of the rows. You can also define a row as a comment or information only row. For example, you might wish to include author details. When this is done, the info I letter is displayed in the first column and the perspective text changes color. The next tab is the objectives tab, which allows you to add or change objectives. To add a new objective, simply click on the perspective row in the map and begin typing. Your text is entered into the ribbon text box and is changed in the map at the same time. To change an objective, just click on it and change the text in the edit box. You can also use your mouse to drag an objective to either the same row or another row on the map. To change the objective width, drag the border left or right by first positioning the mouse just inside the box. There are also simple controls that allow you to change the box style. The Statements tab allows you to enter in the third generation strategy map statements. There is one statement for the perspective which is called Purpose and two for the objective called Destination and Description. In here you type text that says why or how you define this text and also any expectations or goals you have that may be relevant. The Arrow tab. This allows you to draw arrows between the objectives. And these arrows are defined by the endpoints. To define an arrow you need to click first on the source and then on the destination. Once the endpoints are defined, then you can click draw or delete as required, or perhaps change the arrow style. A good shortcut is to left click on the source objective and then right click on the destination. This will automatically define the arrow and switch the ribbon tab into draw arrow mode. Displaying data in the strategy map module. The last four tabs are used for displaying, exporting and printing. The main display tab allows you to show a variety of relevant data. At the left are a series of toggle buttons which control what data is displayed. These have options which are shown in a control box to the right. Strategy map button. This button displays a normal strategy map. Display the objective gauges. These show the average of all numeric scores for each objective, which in turn may be averaged up from the initiatives and monthly grids. You can also display a grid showing the objective grid rows that were averaged into each clicked on objective. Combining these two displays provides a valuable picture of each objective status showing the average in the map and the cores below. This display mode is known as Strategy Map WYSIWYG. Display the Strategy Map Statements. When this mode is active, the statements are displayed as you mouse over the strategy map. Mouse over the perspective shows the purpose. 
Mouse over the objective shows the destination statement when the cursor is over the left half of the objective box and the description statement when over the right half. Display strategic chains. When this is enabled, every objective is coloured grey. And the software follows the arrows from the selected objective. Only the arrows and objectives that are a result of the selected objective are highlighted. This is very useful to demonstrate a cause and effect or support relationship. Screen or grid resizing. The screen can be resized by dragging the handle at the bottom right hand corner. Plus the right and bottom edges can also be resized. When the auxiliary grid is displayed, the splitter bar provides grid resizing. Other strategy map buttons. The remaining buttons hide the actual map and display auxiliary data in a normal grid format. The first of these is the hints area, which provides basic assistance when constructing a strategy map. The next is a balanced scorecard list based column data. This shows all list items that have been defined in the scorecard module. The control box has a drop down list that allows different display combinations. Below this is a button that displays all the statements defined in the Vision Mission module. Again, the control box has a drop down list that allows different display combinations. The Print or Save Data tab has numerous facilities for exporting the data. Some special facilities are File Write Over Toggle button that allows you to automatically override existing files as well as the export to grid which is available for exporting the auxiliary grids. The file name tab allows you to quickly and easily set the destination file name and folder for your exports. The owner logo tab allows you to add the owner logo into the strategy map. This is an important facility for improving your corporate image and you can move the logo around the screen or else remove it. There is also the facility create a footnote on the strategic plan. Summary. The strategy map module is a special purpose row align flowchart which provides a complete strategic picture. It provides extensive additional display facilities such as the objective WYSIWYG, the strategic chain highlight plus the various auxiliary grid displays. Thank you for watching this video demonstration.